have a couple of programs that we do here um, for weight management, but like you said, it's weight management, not just weight loss. Um, we don't just look at your weight here and now, and you'll hear Dr. Gene and I both say, we don't care how much you weigh. It's about changing your metabolism, it's about changing your health so that when that weight does come off, weight's kind of a byproduct of what we're trying to do for you. So if we can change all that for you, then we've set you up in a place not only to lose weight, but to keep the weight off and to continue losing. And that's our really our primary focus behind this. Um, the one downfall with the ACG protocol I have is we have people who come in and they're like, they've lost the weight. I don't want to eat after this. Well, we're going to, because they don't want to gain the weight. So what we have to teach them and what I try to teach every single patient that comes through is, once you're done with the protocol, does not mean you're done with your weight loss. We need to teach you what to do afterwards, and that's kind of as the process goes from your weekly follow-ups, because we do like to see you on a weekly basis. How are you doing? Are you following the protocol? There's accountability behind that. Um, and then what can we do to help? You know, if, if you're hungry, Appetite suppressants might be an option for you. It's not our first choice by any means, but it is an option. And we only use it in conjunction with your bad days. So for a lot of people, it may be it's, maybe it's work. You know, you're at work, you're in a structured environment, it's easy to follow the protocol. Then the weekend comes. And you're like, you're at home, you're at the cookouts, you're at this. So that's when something like that, we might have to step in and, and, and talk about appetite suppressants or something along those lines. But really what the protocol is, it's just a tool. It's a tool to help help jumpstart your metabolism, giving giving yourself also an opportunity to really check in with your health. What what are your hormone levels? We do all of that. We manage all of that during that time. Um, give you our recommendations. Manage your antioxidant scores. Are you in a good place for being healthy later on? Um, I came from a place. My background is critical care nursing. I saw way too many 30 and 40 year olds coming into the ER, into the cath lab, heart attack, just because they simply were making the wrong choices out there. And so my goal in coming into the health fitness, I actually left nursing for a while and then personal training. I'm able to bring it all together now, personal training, the fitness part of it, the health part of it, and kind of really mesh it together and prevention. And that's probably the best thing. In and like he said earlier, prevention is the best key for preventing disease. If you don't wait for the disease to happen so that you can go to your doctor and they can prescribe your cholesterol medication. I use my dad as an example. He's on cholesterol medications. He'll sit there in a lounge chair, eat a whole block of cheddar cheese. He's like, it's all right, I'm on cholesterol medication. <laughs> so our goal is to really kind of change that. Change that mentality. If you do not lose a single pound while you're in this clinic. One thing I can tell you that our patients get more than anything else is they look at food in a very different light.